أعزائنا طلابنا طلاب الصف الأول الثانوي أهلا ومرحبا بكم في حلقة جديدة من حلقات البث المباشر لمادة اللغة الإنجليزية Welcome all our dear students in year one secondary or our English uh, live stream and today inshallah we are going to complete something about Treasure Islands chapter 9 in the previous sessions we have explained many things about unit 8 and we talked about the most important inventions like the robots like uh, the GPS and all these uh, devices. Today, inshallah, we are going to read and discuss some vocabulary which are based in, which are based on Treasure Islands chapter 9 and also we are going to use some vocabulary related to unit 8 and we are going to revise them all. So let's start very quickly. Let's see the new vocab related to chapter 9, Treasure Island. The first word, we have the first word here, bandage. Bandage. Can you see this picture? Yes, a bandage is a long piece of cloth. It's a long piece of cloth that you can put around an injury or cut. So when you are wounded, when you have a cut in your hand, so you need to have a cloth or a piece of cloth, which we call a bandage. So you can put it around your injury. To catch, it's a verb. It means to stop someone from escaping. When we say the police ran quickly, behind or after the thieves to catch them to catch them ناخد بالنا برضو ان كلمة catch يعني ممكن تكون collocation او verb بيجي مع nouns تانية فلما اقول to catch fire the house caught fire يعني ايه the house was burned يعني اتحرق when we say to he, he caught a very bad cold he caught a cold or catch cold يعني يصاب بالبرد catch و hold الاثنين if we translate them into Arabic it means يمسك لكن لما أقول catch to catch something which is moving to catch someone who is running like the thief أما hold to hold something with your hands يعني بتمسك حاجة ما بتتحركش it doesn't move يبقى ناخد بالنا هنا إن كلمة catch ليها أكتر من معنى وهي ممكن تكون verb noun collocation with many other nouns زي ما إحنا قلنا to catch a cold to catch fire to catch a disease يعني إن هو يصاب بمرض معين or to catch someone who is escaping. The second word or the third word, deck, deck. What's a deck? It's the top part of a ship where you can walk. طبعا احنا عارفين that the ship is very big and the سفينة دي بتكون كبيرة جدا. So what is the deck? It's the top part, the surface of the ship. سطح السفينة بنقول عليه deck. It's the place or it's the part of the ship where we can walk, we can look at the sea and enjoy the fresh air. Mast, it's also a noun. As you see in the picture, this is the mast. This is the mast. This long or this tall pole which carries the sails on a ship. If you can see the picture here, you can see that the mast is a very long pole. يعني عمود كده أو قضيب طويل جدا that carries the sails. What are the sails? Uh, this is the piece of cloth which helps the ship to move. To move. And the air or the wind pushes. The air or the wind pushes the sails. Okay, this is the mast, this wooden pole or tall pole, and the sails are the pieces of cloth which are which are e which are carried on the sails. Reach, it's a verb. It means to move your hand or to move your arm forward to hold or to take something. Reach means to catch something or to be able to catch something with your hand. طيب and then a verb reach. بمعنى إيه؟ بمعنى يوصل، يصل لحاجة معينة. عندنا verb كمان arrive، verb arrive برضو نفس معنى كلمة reach، ولكن إيه الاختلاف بين arrive و reach؟ reach لازم يجي وراها المكان اللي أنا بقول إن أنا بوصل للمكان ده. يعني أقول I reached the school، he reached his house. أما verb arrive مش شرط إن أنا أذكر وراه المكان. يعني ما أقول مثلا he just arrived، he just arrived، مش شرط إن أنا أذكر المكان اللي هو وصل. لي إلا لو أنا هستخدم بقى two prepositions زي to or at or in فبقول arrive in arrive in بستخدمها مع الأماكن الكبيرة لما أقول مثلا هي arrived in London أما at بستخدمها مع الأماكن اللي إحنا بنقول عليها يعني صغيرة نوعا ما فبقول he arrived at school he arrived at his house and so on يبقى إحنا اتفقنا هنا إن verb reach لازم يذكر وراء المكان لازم أذكر وراء المكان لازم أقول وصلت لفين أما arrive مش شرط إن أنا أذكر ورا المكان إلا لو استخدمت prepositions in 
or at. قلنا الفرق بينهم. Shallow, it's another adjective. It means not deep. When we describe that the sea is not deep, إن البحر مش مش عميق. يبقى كلمة shallow هنا أو this adjective is the opposite. Is the opposite of the word deep, deep. So shallow means not deep, measuring only a short distance from the top to the bottom. When the distance is short from the top of the sea to the bottom of it, so we describe the sea that it is shallow. We describe the canal that it is shallow. It's not deep. Shoulder, shoulder. This is a part of your body, which is between your arm and your neck, this place. This is what we call the shoulder, shoulder. Wound, we said wound, it's an injury, especially a deep cut, a deep cut from a knife. Wound, it's like a cut, which is caused by using a sharp knife. And in this case, you need a bandage. You need a bandage to wrap, to wrap your cut or to wrap your wound to heal. Wreck. Can you see the picture? This is a shipwreck. Shipwreck means when a ship is damaged, when a ship is badly damaged or can't be used again because of a strong storm or something. And then a verb, wreck, ممكن استخدمه كverb فلما أقول the ship was wrecked. It means that the ship was damaged. The ship was broken. The ship was smashed in the violent storm. يبقى احنا ممكن نقول ship break اللي هو حطام السفينة او ان انا استخدم الكلمة as a verb زي ما احنا شايفين كده في الاكزامبل لما اقول the ship was wrecked or the ship was broken the ship was damaged because of the strong storm this ship is rich it the flag of Britain it the flag of Britain how will it battles flies sails or wrecks This ship is is bridge. طبعاً إحنا عارفين إن a lot of ships when they are sailing in the sea they like to put their flags up. Like this ship is bridge or this one is bridge, so it flies the flag. It flies the flag. يعني إيه? It waves their flag. The fa the flag is moving over there. Like إنه إحنا قلنا عايزين to put the flags down or to take the flags down. This is the opposite. يبقى we'll fly the flag or wave the flag. لما أنا عايزة أقول إن أنا آخد العالم ده أو أنكسه أو to make it lower, to make it in a lower position, I will say that to take the flag down, to take the flag down. ناخد بالنا من collocations ده تاني يبقى إحنا بنقول هنا إن to fly the flag or to wave the flag, لكن if I want to put the flag in a lower position, we will say to take the flag down. Number eight, سما can't play Tennis today because she hurt here. She hurt here. She could harm to what? Hair weapon, hair seal, hair shoulder, or wreck. Then I tell you the كلمات. إحنا قلنا إن wreck. This is the the broken pieces of a ship, or when the ship is broken. So we we say that the ship was wrecked. It can it can't be used anymore. We we no, we can no longer use it again. On a sail, what's the sail? It's that piece of cloth which is a, a part of the boat that helps it to move by the wind. Weapon, what's weapon? It's like a gun. It's like a gun. But what is the, the answer here? Sama can't play tennis because she hurt her shoulder. And what's a shoulder? It's the part of your body between your neck and your arm. Number nine, there was a or an that stopped us from opening the gate. Anchor, mast, chain, or flag. What do we usually use to close the flags or to unlock the flags? Do we use anchors? طبعا احنا عارفين الانكور ده اللي هو ان احنا بنقول عليه قطاف السفينة اللي احنا بنحطه في في in the water on the sea to stop the ship or to make it stay beside the harbor. لا مش هي دي الكلمة اللي احنا عايزينها. On a mast, it's also a part of a ship, but it is that long pole, that tall pole on which the sails are carried. طيب chain, oh, this is the answer, chain. Do you remember this? The chain is something like that. Let me draw it for you. 
the chain, the chain of these joined circles or a series of uh, circles or metal ring which is used to lock a gate, to lock a door and so on. Number 10, here is my, I will take the old bike for 100 pounds. LE means 100 pounds. Here is my offer, presentation, or fair. Uh, old bike for 100 pounds, and this is a very good price. So here is my offer. Here is my offer. I will take the old bike for 100 pounds. Although it is old, but I will pay 100 pounds for it. Number 11, the taxi driver spaced the car around some holes in the road. The taxi driver sailed the car, walked the car, steered the car, flew the car. Steer. Steer means to move, to drive, to drive a car, or to, to let a sheep move, to steer a ship. Yeah, the taxi driver steered the car around some holes in the road. So the road was not flat. It was not paved. Number 12. Tourists came on onto the when the ship arrived in Port Said. Tourists came onto the cabin, deck, sail or mast. I didn't all here that the tourists could move, could walk. So where would they come? Tourists came on the top, on the deck of the ship when it arrived in port side. It wasn't so easy to swim because the sea was very high, flat, thick or shallow. When there is no uh, deepness in the sea or depth in the sea, it wasn't so easy to swim because the sea was very high. The sea was very high, so it was not easy for me to swim because of the high waves. We used a so that we could see in the darkness. And when it is dark, no one can see. So what should we use? Yes, we used a torch so that we could see in the darkness. Paddle, it's like an oar. Gun, it's like a weapon. And fence, it's something which surrounds a place to protect it, to keep it from being stolen. Can you close the window? I can't arrive it, reach, get, or go it. Can you close the window? I can't reach it. Reach it means I cannot move my arm or my hand to catch or to to come nearer to this window. We said the word reach means to reach a place or means to reach a place or you can reach a place by your hand or by your arm. Number 16, the deep, the sea is very here, so it is safe for the small children to swim. I want to say that the water is safe. It's not deep. I want to say that it's not deep. So it is safe for children or for smaller children, for little children to swim in that sea. So the sea was shallow. It was very shallow. It wasn't deep at all. Anna had a or an on her leg after the accident. Anna was injured in an accident. So what did she have on her leg? She had a wand. She had a wand on her leg after the accident. And of course, she used a bandage to wrap the wound and make it heal very quickly. Number 18, people have found lots of treasure in an old under the sea. People have found lots of treasure. Let's think together. People have found lots of treasure in an old crash under the sea. Trash under the sea, wreck under the sea, or waste under the sea. أحيانا كده بنشوف الأفلام ال الأفلام الخيالية بن بيقول إن هو إيه إن هم لقوا يعني زي كنز أو كده في حطام السفينة in the sea which which he, which sunk which sunk long time ago. 
يبقى هقول هنا in an old wreck under the sea. Number 19, the nurse put a on the boy's body because he had cut on it. طبعا الجمل هنا أصبحت بالنسبة لنا سهلة. The nurse put a sheet, a note, a bandage or a cloth. Yes, the nurse put a bandage on the, bo in the, in the boy's body because he had a cut on it. كان عنده جرحة أو قطع فيه. Number 20. My uncle lives near the sea, so he is always by the noise of the cars. He was ashamed, distracted, disputed, or disapproved. He lives in the sea, and the sea is very busy. The sea is very noisy because of the horns of the cars. So what, the, what, what does this sound make people? What does this sound cause? Yes, it causes people to be distracted. يعني إيه distracted إن هو not to be concentrated, not to be focused. Distracted means not to be focused. When you cannot concentrate. Okay, so let's have some sentences related to Unit 8 and review the most important vocabulary mentioned in Unit 8. Number one, the internet might be the best invention we have, but it has also a lot of problems. The internet might be good, it might be the best invention that we have nowadays, but it also a lot of problems. هقول هنا done a lot of problems, يعني هل ممكن أقول do problems, ولا هقول caused problems, ولا both, ولا vanished a lot of problems. عايز يقول هنا that the internet is a double-edged weapon, يعني سلاح ذو حدين, although it has a lot of benefits, although it has a lot of merits, But it also has a lot of problems. It causes a lot of problems. Yes, but it has caused a lot of problems. يبقى ما أقول هنا cause a lot of problem means to bring problems, to arouse problems. You see the مشاكل. To will this technology have a or a negative effect on our lives? Will this technology have a passive or negative effect? Will a bad or negative effect, positive or ineffective? أنا عندي كلمة negative هنا معناها إيه شيء يعني something which is bad يبقى أنا عايزة هنا ال opposite what is the opposite of the word negative yes positive positive effect يبقى بقول technology might have negative effects or positive effects good effects or bad effects أما كلمة ineffective معناها غير فعال غير فعال number three but technology isn't always a good thing It can lead to a lot of advantages, problems, benefits, or effect. And on and technology is good. It's very important in our life. But it is not always a good thing. It has a lot of, yes, it has a lot of problems. It has a lot of disadvantages. It has a lot of bad effects or negative effects. It can lead to, it can cause a lot of problems. Number four, the palace has a lot of furniture. Luxury furniture, lean furniture, low or cheap furniture. And then a kind of palace, it means the palace. Of course, the palace is a very splendid place. It was very good. So, it will have a lot of, it will have a lot of luxury furniture, a very expensive furniture. Number five. We should all on our life and not to be affected by photos online. We should all concentrate, focus on our life, not to be distracted by these photos online. Some people post photos about their lives, their children, their work, their success, and some people may be affected by these. They may feel unsatisfied about their lives. So this is a bad effect. This is a negative effect, might have a negative effect on our mental health. So we should concentrate, we should focus on our life. لازم نركز في حياتنا إحنا الشخصية, our personal life, and not to be affected by photos online posted by other people about their lives because everyone has his own life. كل واحد ليه حياته الشخصية, and he must be proud of it. Number six, his marks aren't good to join a good university. His mark. Or his marks aren't good to, well enough, such or so. And I say, "Ul hena, 
that his marks are not good enough. It's not enough marks. It's not that good marks to make him be able to join a good university. He must work harder. And I'm saying good enough too. لما أقول مثلا this uh, this tea has enough sugar or this tea is sweet enough to to drink. This flat is big enough to live in. He is tall enough to join the basketball team. يبقى enough هنا طبعا بيجي قبلها الصفة زي ما احنا شايفين هنا كده. طيب لما أستخدم هنا النون فهقول إيه there is enough sugar in the tea. There is enough sugar. يبقى احنا ناخد بالنا هنا ان enough بتيجي قبلها الصفة زي ما انتم شايفين هنا good. This is an adjective. يبقى enough هنا بيجي قبلها ال adjective. طب لو هستخدم النون يبقى النون هنا بيجي بعد enough. فلما اقول هنا his marks aren't good enough to join a good university معناها معناها ان هنا he is not intelligent enough. He is not smart enough and so on. Number seven, after giving the presentation, he is waiting to get the from her boss. After giving the presentation and after presenting everything, after explaining everything, she was waiting or she is waiting to get the from her boss. She wants to find if her boss is happy. She is waiting for his feedback, his remarks. His remarks, يعني إما الحظوظات أو التغذية بتاعته أو التغذية الرجعة بتاعته أو ملحوظات على ال على الحاجة اللي هي عملتها هنا. Okay, فاحنا بنقول هنا feedback. It means the positive uh, words which uh, which are said by the boss to make someone happy after making a great success. Number eight. He spends a lot of time with his friend online. طبعا when you have some friends online. So what do you usually do? What does a person do? He spends a lot of time chatting, chatting, talking with his friends online. So at the end of our session, we hope that it is beneficial and useful for you. Till we meet again, inshallah, next Sunday. See you at this time. Goodbye.